Ladies and gentlemen, Octagon MMA brings you Tip Sport Game Changer. Marek Bartel returns to Octagon and gets another chance to finally see victory. His opponent is going to be Germany's favorite alpha fighter, Kevin Hangs. Only a few people know that he was on the shortlist to be one of the fighters on the first season of Germany's Octagon Challenge. Hangs has won five of his last six fights. His only loss was against the excellent fighter Stefano Paterno. So he has a lot of confidence coming into this fight, even though he's going down a weight class where he's going to fight Bartle in the Octagon cage. Kevin Hangs has a record of 8 and 6. At one point he had many losses, but he's turned his career around and is now on a winning streak. Bartol, on the other hand, has been waiting for a victory in MMA for two years. The last time he won was in March 2001 against Mikhail Mokri. Since then he's been losing in both MMA and boxing. Marek Bartol always pleases us with his performances, but he needs some luck on his side to restart his career again. Bartle, who was in the first ever Octagon match against Gabor Bararosh, is now entering his 10th duel in our organization, and he must win at all costs. So we move to bout number two, this a welterweight contest, and we welcome the first German fighter here towards the cage in the Bavarian capital of Germany, Munich, and it is Kevin Alpha Hangs. Now this is Octagon debut, Luke, but you know this guy pretty well. Eight and six is his record, but the thing that stands out for me is three and five in his first eight fights, sustained the shoulder injury, had to rehab that then. Obviously, COVID stopped people competing as well. 2019 to 2021, didn't step in the cage until December of that year. Since then, he has gone five and one. He's on an impressive run, Luke, and he's somebody that you have experienced before in the cage. Yeah, and also opened his own gym, Camp Heist gym. And, uh, you know, that was also the same time that his momentum changed and he found his way and he started winning fights. So he's developed, you know, with the time off that we had, with that thing that we don't want, we don't want to talk about anymore. He, he, he didn't use dualize it well and found himself and centered himself. And now he finds himself at the biggest show in Europe, in Germany as well, Octagon. A big moment for him and his own personal career and personal development. I think he's, you know, he needs to be willing to put it all on the line here to entertain the fans. Yeah, steps inside the cage, looking to make his debut, looking to make his mark, as you said, Luke. And he is taking on a legend, an icon of the Octagon era. And here he comes. We welcome Manik Patel. He has carved his own name in the history of Octagon. He was the first man ever to step inside an Octagon cage. At that point, that was Octagon Challenge Season 1. He took on another legend of the, the game, Gabor Bororosh. When we talked to Andre, when we talked to Pavel about this fight, they felt it was very similar. You've got the, the, the almost bodybuilder like Kevin Hangs, this, this guy who is dangerous, who has got wrestling as a background, heavy hands, and this is almost uh, stylistically a mirror image of that first fight that Bartel came in to the Octagon limelight under. Now, though, Bartel is chasing a win. He desperately needs it. He knows it's himself. A four-fight losing streak, three in MMA, one in those underground rules against Rochelle. There's pressure on his shoulders. He's playing it like there's not, but look, those red dots on your career, those red dots on your record, they mean something, and you are desperate to get that green back in there, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's coming off a bit of a bad stretch, and I want to prove it all. Like you said, back at Octagon 1, and I was told an amazing story about that first show. You know, mainly Pavel's idea, and he pushed it and pushed it and pushed it. The show finished. It was all stressful. They got it done. Octagon challenge, and Pavel was it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to do it once. What? And Andre <laughs> went, we're not going to do it again. When's Octagon 2? He was like, no, 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 let's just do it once. And now we're here at Octagon 39. <laughs> so, you know, it was Pavel's idea originally to get it going. Bartel was there, and it was Andre that pushed it forward and brought us here to Octagon 39. Into a new country, a new city. And we will see these two lock horns 
as we prepare for that cage door to close. This, this welterweight contest, you look at the tail of the tape, Manek Bartel, six years the younger, he has the height and the reach, and he also has the odds, and he comes with a tip spot. Set for three five-minute rounds, let's get this one underway. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest is a welterweight bout. It's scheduled for three five-minute round. The referee in charge of this bout is Gerd Richter. Let me introduce you both fighters, and we will start in the blue corner. He is 36 years old, stand 176 centimeter tall, weighted in at 77.5 kilos. Represent Kampfeis Jim Reilinger, and the coaches in his corner are Timo Grassel. Tobias Heigl and Gianni Masafra. He has a professional record of 14 fights, eight wins, and six losses. Fighting out of Germany, Munich, in the blue corner, Kevin Alpha. In the red corner, he's 29 years old. He stands 182 centimeters tall, weighted in at 77.6 kg. Represent Octagon Fighting Academy, and the coaches in his corner are Ilyas Kondrich and Igor Danish. He has a professional record of 22 fights, 10 wins, and 12 losses. Fighting out of the Czech Republic in the red corner, Marek Bartel! Gentlemen, you know the rules. Protect yourself at all times and listen to my commands. When I say stop, you stop. Fight hard, fight fair. Touch your gloves, step back in your corner, please. Good, Richter. The third man inside the cage for this welterweight contest. Manik Bartel, he is in that red corner. Black shorts taking on Munich's own. Kevin Alpha Hanks. White shorts, blue corner. Me, Brian Lacey, sat next to the one, the only Luke Barnett. And that was great to hear. The first real pop from this Munich crowd, Luke. Yeah, it's Kevin Alpha Hangs made his way to the Octagon, first local German, to get in there. I was speaking with him earlier and he told me he's now weighing 86 kilograms, more or less. So he's had a fantastic weight cut compared to the last time that he competed. And we see that with the power as he converts that takedown. Very active start from him. Gets this to the mat early, which is definitely going to be his tactic. Working well now to pin the head of Marek Bartel. And this couldn't be a worse start for Bartel as well. They knew they needed to use the space to stay out the grappling, the wrestling base of Hangs. And just look at the way he's built. You talk about 86 kilograms. That is pure muscle, Luke. Yeah, powerful man is Hangs. And in the perfect situation early on in this fight. Let's go for the scorpion crash yeah. then. I think doing this more just to avoid damage than look yeah. for a submission. And it's working at the moment. Let's see what, how the referee feels. Oh, here you go, Kevin. Get arm 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 it's yeah. oh, it's a arm bar attempt. Stretching this out right in front of us. Kevin does Twisting well to turn table. over. And again, beautiful oh. escape from Kevin Hangs. Two escapes, in fact. He escaped the belly down arm bar. Oh, my goodness. The traditional as he gets a big smile. Even smiles at his opponent's corner <laughs> and give it a quick laugh. Great attempt, though, from Marek Bartel, and that shows the development of his game. Really good hips there, isolated that arm, but hangs. He was right. Oh, whoa, he was downed. He was downed. Yeah, a slight oh. a knee there to a downed opponent. It wasn't a ferocious knee, but it was still a knee. So an illegal strike. The referee will separate. Keeps hangs out of the corner. We see a little Watch. replay here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely an intentional knee as well. I wouldn't be surprised if we see points deducted for that. I believe Bartel gets five minutes to recover. Yeah, he now gets five minutes, yeah. The referee will give him that, and also, should he need it, the doctor? Yeah, here we go, the doctor is coming just to check. But wow, what a start there. And what I was about to say, look, before that knee came in, the armbar attack was great from Bartel. Right in front of us, we saw the grimace mm. from Hangs. So you've got to wonder what sort of damage that did to the arm. It was twisting and turning. Credit to him for getting out of it. Yeah, he took a moment almost, Hangs. He, he thought about it, and then he was like, I'm not going to give up now. And he, he did a double escape. He escaped the belly down by flipping, and then he flipped again. Very, very, you know, well oh. first. Kevin Hanks is going to get a point re removed. Fantastic refereeing. Listen, good, Richter. I really do rate his refereeing. 
And that's fair, right, Luke? 100%. Yeah. It was intentional, it was illegal. It's a shame, and I feel for Hans, but you got to do what you got to do. Let's go, and again, we start. Three and a half minutes left in this first round. We already know the intentions from Hans. We know what he wants. He wants that takedown. He's managed to get it already. Bartel does well to get back to his feet. And this is where Bartel wants to be, right? Yeah, Bartel, he's had over 120 striking matches. matches. That's boxing, Muay Thai, and kickboxing. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 there, there we and go! That's got to be it! Kangs is surviving somehow, some way! That's it! Yeah, four fight skid. And every bit of venom and frustration from those four losses was put into those ground and pound shots that ended Kevin Alpha Hangs. After a troubled start and an illegal knee, you saw a ferocious finish. So hopefully, we'll get to see it again as we see the smiles from Marek Bartel. Look what this means to him and his team. And again, let's add to that that he took an illegal knee. That, that fact that. That's, a, that's a, a way out. Those fighters that, you know, have that pressure, oh, I could maybe just walk away, get paid, they would have looked for that exit. That is not Marit Bartel. And then to come out and to finish it like that, the adjustments he made, you were talking about his striking, you were talking about the credentials he comes into this cage with, he just put them on show right there. And right. gets a great reception from the German crowd as well. Just knocked out. The Germans jumps on top of the cage. And they, you know, they, they recognize what Martel was put in. Oh. What a moment. It was the emo. Hey, let's back. Look, talk us through this. This is the takedown. Here we get to see the armbar escape. Very dangerous and hanged it exceptionally well to escape oh, this. A double escape. Manages to get out. But here we get to see that jab overhand finish. And looks lips just behind the ear. You see Hangs go down. And Hangs does great to, to almost escape. But Barrett Marek Martel continues, continues, continues. And then here we see the big right hands that finish the fight. Fantastic refereeing once again. Uh, outstanding. And again, the emotions. The emotions. There's the stats. They mean nothing now, Luke. 203. Marek Martel back in the win column and in some style as well. He ain't done yet, Luke. 30 years young as well, so has a long future ahead of him if he chooses. Good to see Kevin Hanks on the stool. Looks quite well, maybe a cut on the lip. He was still wobbly when he, when he went back up. And again, look, you, you mentioned the good referee. First of all, taking the point, and then that stoppage. He gave Hanks every moment to try and come out of that and, uh, you know, stay in the fight. But Bartel, when he smelt blood, when he smelt that finish. Like I said, I think the anger from the four losses was put into those thunderous ground and pound shots and he will come away victorious for the first time in a long time as Marek Bartel gives a bit of character for the cameras and we welcome back to the cage Mr. Andre Novotny to make it official. Fighters in the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called stop to the action after two minutes and three seconds of the very first round. And your winner coming from the red corner, Marek Bartel. For sure, you can applause also for Kevin Hanks. He started very good in this fight, but then Marek came with the right hand. So we start in English, uh, uh, in Czech, and then we will translate it to English and to German. Tak Marečku, gratuluce uh, k velkému vítězství. Po dvou letech v MMA konečně vítězství. Tak jak uh, sladké to je, když to ještě přišlo nejdřív po tom faulu a pak po tom krásném pravém capáku. Uh, mohl bych som v prvom rade poďakovať vám všetkým. Viem, že mi sice nerozumíte, ale aj keď sa to tu teprve rozbieha to MMA, tak ste boli úžasní. Viem, chce to čas, ale proste hrali ste ma dopredu, keď sa stalo to, čo sa stalo, keď sa dostal ten knockdown. Tak aj vďaka vám som sa postavil, išiel som naspäť, lebo som vedel, že to chcete, takže 
Ďakujem každému jednému, ďakujem tebe, Ondri, ďakujem Pavlovi, že mi stále dávate šanci, aj keď som prosím mal smolný období, tak furt ste ve mne nejakým spôsobom verili a furt ste mi dávali tie zápasy. Strašne si to vážim. A teraz k veci, boli to fakt skurvene ťažké dva roky. Ať si říká, kto chce, co chce, ja som zápasník, známe sa 20 rokov. Zápasím celý život, miliónkrát som prohral naozaj, mi na tom nejak úplne nezáleží, ale už to fakt som chcel z takého zhlouby srdce si dokázať sám pred sebou, že do piče fakt patríš do toho starého železa, že už sa na to máš vysrať. Takže toto bolo takový zadosť učinení, že fakt to nedelám všetko zbytečne, že proste moja rodina netrpí jen tak pro nic za nic a fakt som si to užil a najlepším možným spôsobom som to dokázal zlomiť do piče to nešťastie. OK, we'll try to translate now. <laughs> so thank you all that you came. Thank you that you support me even after the fall. I felt that Arena wants me to come to the back to the fight. And then I was lucky with my right hand. And I'm very, very satisfied because I didn't win an MMA match uh, more than two years. So now I really can enjoy this one because I was feeling that uh, I got some bad luck in uh, past matches. But now I'm back and I'm really happy, not even for me, but for my team and for my family. Okay, also Marek Bartel hat gerade gesagt, äh, er ist erstmal super, super dankbar, dass ihr alle heute da seid, um die Kämpfer zu supporten, um die Kämpfer zu unterstützen. Er ist jetzt selber auch sehr happy, dass er endlich nach zwei Jahren, in denen er einfach super krasses Pech hatte, in denen er einfach nicht gewinnen konnte, in verschiedenen Disziplinen jetzt endlich wieder einen Sieg bekommen hat und natürlich auch, dass er weitermachen konnte, trotz des unerlaubten Treffers. Er hatte gespürt, dass trotz, dass er gefault wurde, er einfach noch den Drive hatte, das Match zu Ende zu bringen. Und jetzt ist er super happy für sein Team, dass er mit diesem rechten Haken den Kampf dann schlussendlich beenden konnte. So, Marek, do you want to add something? Chceš něco dodat? No, poslední věc, jenom, jakože, vím, že se to nepatří, ale, jak hovorí moja žena, uh, kdo se hambí, má prázdné gamby, takže, vím, že karta bude natreskaná, že tu budou brutálné zápasy, ale ten bonusik by sa hodil predsa, len mám dieťa. Mám tu tým mlsný, ktorý by tiež zaslúžil nejakú odmenu, takže... Bolo by to príjemné. Takže na mne myslí, prosím ťa. OK. Marek says that... Uh, just one thing he wants to add. That he wants to ask for a tip sport uh, bonus. Because now we increase the bonus from 2000 to 5000. And the performance of the night. So he's the first KO of the evening. And he says, I know that the card will be stuck. But I believe that this could be it. So please give me that 5,000 euro. Okay, also er hat gesagt, er möchte noch eine Sache nämlich anfügen, denn die, Bonus die Bonuszahlungen für die extra Knockouts, für den Knockout of the Night sind seit kurzem von 2000 Euro auf 5000 Euro erhöht worden. Und deswegen hat er gesagt, hey, Knockout of the Night, vielleicht ist das ja was. Er weiß, dass die Fightcard heute voll ist mit guten Überraschungen, aber er wäre sehr, sehr happy, wenn er den Knockout of the Night Bonus heute mit nach Hause nehmen könnte. Also, was bei dir? Knockout of the Night würdig? Ladies and gentlemen, first knockout of the night, Marek Bartel, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Octagon MMA brings you Tip Sport Game Changer.